Good morning, y'all. It's early. Happy Friday. Happy first day of the vlog. Oh, it's early. Okay, I'm gonna take a shower and then I'll be back to show you my face. Officially, good morning. Hello, here is my face. So, obviously, I just got out of the shower. I ended up doing a little bit of a yoga class outside this morning and it was so it was a little bit chilly at first but it ended up being so nice out there and just like peaceful because it was early um so anyway I did that took a shower and now I'm going to get ready to film some videos today I'm not doing anything special with hair and makeup so I feel like I'm gonna watch some Netflix I need some good Netflix shows too. So if there's something that you love, let me know. I've just started rewatching Vampire Diaries, which is not my favorite, but it's like easy to watch, you know? Uh, we all know that they took Heart of Dixie off of Netflix and I'm sad about it. It's probably for the best for me be because I was watching it so much. Um, so I'm just kind of watching Vampire Diaries. We watch Bridgerton. So if there's anything else that... You think that I would like, oh, I saw it on uh, Facebook or Instagram last night. One of my friends posted that the third season of You came out. Let's see if it's on Netflix because that could be something I could get into for sure. I loved season one and two. It's a very weird show. Y'all know this because I'm sure you've seen it before because it's nothing. It, it's popular. Um, but let's see as I get my makeup out hi let's see if it's on netflix also i don't have a foundation that's light enough i had big plans last night i was gonna take a shower shave my legs uh exfoliate and then put on a fake tan did it happen no it didn't happen so we're just gonna have to uh work it this is the one i used yesterday and it's just a little bit too dark. Oh, we can hear the TV. Let's turn it down. Okay, watch it again. Continue watching. Trending. Do you think someone lied to me? Okay, I see it. I searched. I see it. Let's go over. No. So season three coming in 2021. Okay, yeah, two seasons. All right, so I am going to... Uh, oops. No, no, no. I, I didn't want to play it. All right, y'all. I'm going to get ready. Um, and I'll see you. You're like right in front of the TV where I need to see. Um, and I'll see y'all uh, once I'm ready. And I look a little bit different. Fast forward to almost 1 o'clock. 12.45. I am wearing this Target dress. Cash is in the back. I want to find a cool spot to take a photo. So last week's vlog... I talked about, it was like dreary every day last week and I couldn't, sorry, you get to go down here now. I couldn't find a good day to take it because it was like overcast every single day. And this dress needs sunshine. I just need some sort of sunshine to bounce off of it. So I filmed my style Saturday today and I figured while I have hair and makeup done, I might as well just take advantage of it. So I put, sorry for the rattling. I put these really pretty like big earrings in. I'm wearing cowboy boots. I have a change of clothes in the car because I need to take a package to the post office and it's cold and I'm wearing a short dress. So um, what I think I'm gonna do is once I find a spot, maybe I'll screen record so y'all can watch me take pictures of myself.
we had to have gotten one out of that. Oh my gosh. I'm in this like, I'm, I'm off a, a main road, but there's like a little dirt road, but there's so much traffic behind me. Okay. I'm trying to take these boots off and I have, I don't know how I'm going to put a different shirt on. I didn't really think about that. I can do pants and shoes because I'm wearing a dress. So we'll have to finagle. People keep turning in here, but I think they're going to the bank. Like I would really hate someone to drive up. Is that like putting pants on? Okay, so I have the joggers. This is real life, y'all. Real stinking life. Oh, I put my leg in the same, put two legs in the same hole. Oh no. Okay. Did I, what did I do? I put them all backwards. Okay. I think I'm just like in a rush because I feel like someone's going to just roll up here and be like, ma'am, what are you doing? And I'm going to have to say, oh, well, you know, I take pictures of myself for the internet. <laughs> Oh no, okay, pants, let me scooch them up. Pants are on, pants are on. Let's put some shoes on. I just brought some white, easy slip-on sneakers. Y'all, I really don't know how I'm gonna get this hoodie on. Hmm, okay, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad at all. Let me get this dress, <sighs> okay. Now I gotta figure out how to get out of here. All right, success. I just got an Ulta package in the mail. Well, I mean, I know what it is, I bought it. <laughs> but um, I figured we could do a little unboxing. I'll show you what I picked out. It's almost four o'clock. <sighs> I didn't realize that it was that late. I've been editing tomorrow's Style Saturday. I know I feel like I say in every video like oh I'm so excited for this but like I genuinely have such a good time like making these videos and reading your comments and chatting with y'all and stuff so I don't know hopefully you enjoy it it's already live by the time you're watching this so I'll link it down below okay so I spent $57 I feel like is a number that's coming to mind on Ulta's website first thing I am so excited for these. So these are the Vintage Cosmetic Company brand of makeup removing cloths. So I know the makeup eraser is super popular and they're not really expensive either. It was like $14.99 for one on Ulta's website, which is not expensive in my opinion. So I had it in my cart, but when I went through for makeup eraser wipes, like search those and then the ones that were the top rated, this one actually was the top rated one and it was $9.99 for three. So um, I'm excited for these. It says, it's just like the other ones. You just mix, mix it with water, put water on it and then takes your makeup off. It does say wash them before you use them. Yes, before use and in between uses. So every time you use it, you have to wash it. I might go throw these in the washing machine right now because I want to use one tonight. Here's what they look like. Woo! And they're animal print. Oh, I'm excited. See, it's like the little things in life. I picked up one of these St. Moritz, Moritz, however you want to say it. The tanning mitts. I know I talked about a couple vlogs ago, the Sandra Pay one. I didn't really care for, so I went ahead and grabbed this one. I got one of these, um... Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers. Butter bronzer was my jam back in the day. Loved everything about it. And then I guess I just got into other things and I need a bronzer. So I got another one. I got it in the color Deep. Might be a little bit too dark, but it's more of like a sheer look, like sheer formula in my opinion anyways. So I'm excited for that. I got me another Maybelline Fit Me Powder for my face. Oh, I did also get me the St. Moritz Dark Tanning Mousse. Y'all know I like this. I like Saint-Tropez. St. Moritz is way more affordable. It's like $12.99 for this compared to Saint-Tropez. 
is quite a bit more money. Um, I almost got, they have like a clear formula tanning mousse that Sam Schumann, Schumann, however you pronounce her last name, uh, she recommended on Instagram. But this was $12.99 and that one was like $19.99 and I wasn't sure if I would like it. So we just stuck with the OG that we know we like. I got another face wash. I like this. And that's it. That's what I got. This one, they were having a deal. It was like buy one, get one 40% off. I didn't need to. You know, it's like they suck you in. You're like, well, if I could get one for cheap, then I should go ahead and get two. When in reality, I didn't need to. So I just got one. So that's my little mini haul. I need this. I need to do this tonight. Because this is all sorts of pale. Um, but I think I'm going to go throw these in the washing machine. Because I want to use one tonight. But I kind of want to take my makeup off right now. So we may save these whenever I use it. Whenever I do. I will use it with you for the first time. Use this side to exfoliate. They feel the same to me, but maybe they're a tad bit different. All right, so I'm exporting the vlog. Did I say that already? Um, it's pretty late. Brian gets off at five o'clock today. It is Friday, and I don't know what we're doing for dinner. I stopped and got Chipotle. Sorry. If I don't see you again today, I will see you tomorrow. We're going to go pick up some new items from Cotton Bay for a video. And then later in the week, next week, we're going to do a photo shoot for their website. They have such cute stuff, y'all. It's like, I, I'm i just like y'all. I get to try these things on and then I buy them. Do I need them? Probably not. But I like them. Obviously, I'm going to buy them if I like them. But... I'm also supporting a business that like I really love. So I feel like that makes a difference. Okay, enough rambling. I'm going to watch these. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, just kidding. I lied. I have one more package to open. I have been on this like shop small kick recently, which is not a bad thing. And I ordered some earrings from Maddie. She uh, does a lot of work with Cotton Bay and she makes her own earrings. Like they just look really nice. So she posted something on Instagram that she was doing. Um, she had a bunch of earrings that she, you know, was saying, hey, if you love them, let me know. So I ordered several pairs. I think I have four pairs of earrings. I'll leave her Instagram page linked down below in case you're interested. She had shipped them to me for four bucks. So I do know that she um, ships. Okay, here we go. They're called, it says Maddie Made. So Maddie Made Earrings. On the little tag, how cute are these? Okay, I love those in person. Ooh, these are a lot bigger than I thought, which is good, y'all know I'm into the like bigger earrings. Okay, some pretty like big square gray studs. These are so adorable. Then we've got these little white speckled studs. And then last but certainly not least, ooh, I like those. These like horseshoe ones. Maddie Made Earrings. How cute are these? Uh, her Instagram is Maddie Made Earrings. Okay. I'm excited. If you're watching this, Maddie, thank you. I don't think she watches these. <laughs> but thank you so much. I'm excited to wear them. I'm excited to support and shop local. Again, I will leave her um, Instagram link down below. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Sorry you get this view again. I initially had you like on the suction cup, but I need to clean it. It won't like stick to the window. <laughs> so I'm going to take it in and clean it so that the next time we get in the car, you're not at this like weird angle. So I am headed to, first of all, it's like 10 a.m almost 10 a.m. I'm headed to Cotton Bay. They have some new arrivals in and asked me to come take a look, try on some things, pick out some stuff I want to bring home to film a video. And then later in the week, did we talk about this already? I feel like we already did. Later in the week, we'll do a photo shoot. Yep, we did. I feel like I remember saying that. So we're going to do Cotton Bay first thing this morning, get our clothes, and then 
well, we might go to Starbucks first first. You know what I mean? Even though after Cotton Bay, we're gonna go to Target. There is a Starbucks in the Target. No, we'll probably just go ahead and go to the drive through um, So we're gonna go to Target and I need dog food and cat food first and foremost. But the day that you are watching this video, Thursday, January 21st, is Brian's birthday. So I want to get some decorations for the house because he has to work on his birthday. Um, but I'm going to cook dinner. Um, I have him a cake and some presents. Brian, if you're watching this, stop watching now. I don't think you are. But if you're watching this, you better stop. Um, so I want to get decorations and decorate the house. Not a lot. Probably just like the kitchen area where the gifts and stuff are. But I want to try to find some stuff for that. I'll show you what I got him as the gifts roll in. I, I'm waiting on two things. One of them is coming from Amazon. I think it's going to be here today. You know, Amazon's like on it. The other thing I ordered is... Did I tell y'all this? I think I said it in an Instagram post. I ordered a mystery box of records. So we have a record player. Brian uses it all the time. And I found this seller on Etsy. It's a, it's a company and they do mystery boxes. And so I ordered one a while back, but the post office, the way it's set up right now, it's just so dang slow. So it's been shipped. Like I think January 8th, it shipped. Today is the 16th and it's not really showing much movement. So I hope that it gets here in time. On the Etsy, like on my purchased section of the app, it does tell me that I can leave a review for the item on January 21st, which tells me that it should be here by the 21st, so I'm hoping that's true. Um, and what else? We're gonna get decorations, Target, Cotton Bay, and I think, oh, and then a big thing today. So the couch in my filming room, I'm getting rid of it today. I'm kind of sad about it only because Layla likes to sleep on it. So I need to get some sort of other setup for her in there. So she has somewhere to like rest while I make videos. I'm redoing the room completely, like ripping out the carpet and everything. And that couch is just not functional. The couch went in the room in the first place because I used the room for filming, but it was also a spare room. So the couch has a full size bed in it. But now that this is my job 24 7 it's a little bit more it makes a little bit more sense to just make the room functional so that's what i'm gonna do hey can i do a venti ice caramel macchiato please with three extra pumps of vanilla yeah. yes please thank you thank have you. a good, good one. one you too we have made it Did she have anything set aside or was it just to let me pick things? So I've pulled a bunch of stuff. Some of it I've already tried on, but I'm gonna just try on some things and make sure I've got the right size and all that stuff before I take it home to do a video. Okay, like look how cute this is. Just with leggings, these are my leggings. We got all the goodies. I just switched out this pink dress for a different size. Um, it's meant to be oversized, and the one I had wasn't oversized, it just fit. So I wanted to make sure I got the one, like how it was supposed to be. We have a lot of stuff. How many hangers is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. But I'm excited for every single thing in here. Okay, now let's go to Target. I think I like this card. It says, you're the only one I want to Netflix and chill with. Happy birthday. So we're gonna stick with that. Now we need some wrapping accessories. I want paper, like wrapping paper like that. So we may have to look around. I also found a shark, like a shark uh, gift bag online. So hopefully they have it in store. Here it is. I just thought it looked cute. Plus when you see the gift you'll understand the bag. Maybe we do this paper. Yeah, that matches pretty good. I like this. Okay. This is what I have in my cart online. 
that might could work. Now let's pick out some decorations. We could do like a little silver door hanger thingy. What if we did something like this somewhere? Yeah, okay. I want a happy birthday banner. But I don't see one. I don't want a gold one, you know, if everything is silver. Oh my gosh, I just spotted shark things. <laughs> is this too much? It might be too much. But this does say happy birthday with sharks. They even have plates and everything. I think that might be a little bit too much. I just vacuumed this couch, took the pillows off, vacuumed it. We know. Hi. We know Layla sleeps on the back, so I vacuumed it as best, best to my ability as I could. I didn't do very good, huh? Look at that little white speck. I don't know what the back looks like, but we'll find out soon enough. So I'll show you when the couch is gone. Okay, y'all. The hat, I'm pretty sure it's the hat that I ordered from Shop 1962. I talked about it in last week's vlog. Um, it has arrived. I thought that we could unbox it together. <gasps> Did she send two of them? Oh my gosh. Taryn. Your love and support of small businesses doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you. I've included an additional fedora for you. Feel free to wear, share, and enjoy as you see fit. Thank you, or thanks for all of your love and support. Jasmine. Okay, so here's what they look like. I don't own any hats like this, so I felt like I needed some just for my collection. Oh, this is cute. I mean, for pictures and stuff, you can wear it a little bit up like that. I've seen people do. I've seen people wear it a little bit down where you can just see just the front of their hairline. And then obviously you see people wear it like this. That was so nice of her. Aww. Oh my gosh. How nice. I also got um, a Stitch Fix box in the mail. But I'm gonna save it and do a video. I did of course order a couple of more sets of the pajamas I love. I'm not gonna show you because we're gonna do it for a video. Um, I've just been laying on the couch watching Vampire Diaries and really just playing on my phone. Um, so that's what I've been doing. I did at Target get this Vaseline Healthy Hands Stronger Nails. I needed a little lotion for my purse. I don't know why I thought it would smell like strawberries. I guess because it's pink, it smells like lotion. <laughs> and then I got this to try. So I saw a TikTok from someone, I don't, or an Instagram reel. I don't follow them, but it was like on the explore page. This Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink, and she wore a different color than this, but in store, I really liked Lover, number 15, Lover. So I thought that it could be good. Oh. For photo shoots and stuff, I feel like the color is a really pretty color for me. Um, so I'm going to, I guess we're taking that off, um, lay back on the couch. I'm doing laundry. Um, I'm excited because Brian ordered these air, an air purifier that came highly, highly recommended by my friend Jessica. Um, so maybe that'll help with some of my like allergies and stuff. I'm just trying to get the sticker off this. Anyway, I'll see you. Oh yes, I will show you when the couch is gone. That's still here, that hasn't happened yet. Hey, all right y'all, it's gone. Here we go, what is this? A tag, a sticker from something. Oh, it's like you found all sorts of things. So here's what it looks like without, look at all that cat hair. Oh my gosh, this just makes me so happy. What do you think? Kitty, kitty, kitty. We'll definitely have to get 
some sort of pedestal or something for the cat so that she can still sit in here. Oh, there she is. What happened to your couch? Are you confused? <laughs> My makeshift office over here. Okay, that's it, boobs. That's all you get to see, It's that's it. I know, I know. <laughs> You ready? Come on. So tonight we're doing pizza for dinner, Joe's Pizza. Do y'all remember it? I may have just shared it on Instagram and not the vlog. Last time we got Joe's Pizza. So Joe's Pizza is not small. Like there's not a small option. The smallest size they have is like 20 inches or something. It's huge. So we're doing pizza again tonight. How much do you want to bet Brian just buys the biggest one possible for two people? Let's put bets on it. I'll show you the box when he gets home. Here you go, y'all. The large pizza. I told them I would show it. You can't even fit the whole box in the frame. Well, you can if you do it like that. It's huge. Don't fit in the, <laughs> don't fit in the front seat of the car. Uh-oh. It is, we can verify, right? Authentic New York style, would you say? Uh, yes. Yeah. I guess I'll show you. I'm sure everyone wants to see. <laughs> Babe, <laughs> did you ask them to cut them smaller? No, they always do because they're Was? Okay. All right. Let's eat dinner. Good morning, y'all. Happy, look, there she comes. <laughs> Happy Monday. So I took Sunday off. It was Brian's only day off this week because he is off on Saturday. Yes. Um, so a couple things that happened yesterday that I want to show you. I did get video of. So first of all, Cash, when Brian doesn't have to go to work, she, like if we're still laying in bed, she'll jump in bed with us. And she always makes these like weirdest noises like she's trying to talk to us or something. So I thought to myself yesterday, you know what? If she sees the camera, then she doesn't do it. So I just like turned on the video and like sat the phone upside down on my chest to get her making these noises. So I'm gonna play that now. So next thing I want to talk about. So the last thing you saw, well, you saw the pizza, but we uh, gave the couch away. You saw that. So yesterday, Brian had a wild hair and wanted to go ahead and go in there and rearrange everything for how I want it to be permanently. I mean, we're going to do new, new floors and stuff like that. We know. Um, so I got some video of us like cleaning and rearranging and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you that video now, and then we will come back. And I will show you the finished product, what it looks like this morning.
All right, are we ready? Here's what it looks like. So I think that this is probably the best option video-wise. So the desk you saw, we moved here. I put my other box light up. We have this box light, my ring light and camera monitor, Layla. This wall I initially wanted for a picture wall, I kept calling it, like a space where I could put this mirror and do like really cute selfies. That's why you're about to see my pajamas, hello. That's why this is sort of in the picture. What, what are you doing? Um, but plans have changed there. I'll explain in a second. But my idea is once I'm filming, so obviously we'll film here, you'll see this open space behind me, but I can also open the blinds, which if you watched my Zoom outfit slash work from home, you know how much blinds being open just helps light your room and what you're doing. So I think that's the best idea. This, don't worry, we have a doorknob that matches the rest of the house and we're gonna put that on. Everyone on Instagram has been asking me about where Layla's gonna sleep. So I put this here and we'll see if I can talk her into maybe sitting there. I made you a bed. I made you a bed. <gasps> Look at that. No, okay. Don't worry though, she can still get behind here. Like it's open back there. So she can get in the window, which is what she likes to do. All right, so this will not stay here. So we bought yesterday, last night, I actually ordered the eight cube shelf or book, I don't know what you call it, eight cube organizer is what they call it, version of the desk so that it matches. So it's very tall and it's gonna go here and probably gonna get four baskets that match this to go in it. And that's just to organize because I do have so much stuff like that I need for videos and that sort of thing. So it's gonna go here and I might be able to still slide my mirror here and then maybe still bring in the plant or this like fake plant for selfies, maybe. So there you go, that's what the room looks like. New videos from now on, you will see this in the background. And it just gives me so much more space and it's just more functional which makes me happy so now uh, i'm going i'm going to uh get ready i have a stitch fix video that i want to film and cotton bay y'all saw i picked up that stuff also look at this we got it from tj maxx yesterday it says hand sanitizer so we put hand sanitizer in it but do y'all remember let me go i'll walk and show you do y'all remember months and months and months ago that I was like, you know what? I wish I had a cute container to put my hand sanitizer in. And we bought these. I had a great idea. I just opened those for her. I kind of had to let her know, hey, this is how you can get in here. There we go. She was trying to get in from that side, but she couldn't because the desk was in the way. So I'll just leave these open for her. So I just finished my makeup curling my hair, I'm gonna finger comb it. But I wanted to show you the difference in lighting because I'm a nerd and this kind of stuff makes me happy. So here's what it looks like with only this like overhead light on. So now I'm gonna turn on the whole setup and we'll see the difference. So this is what it looks like before and here's what it looks like after. So just a little bit more light. So I'm gonna film, that's the plan. All right, it's time to wash the makeup off. I will say, I know I said I would use this or these cloths with y'all for the first time. However, yesterday, all I did was wear mascara. That's all the face makeup I wore. And so I did use it last night, but definitely wasn't wearing as much makeup as I'm wearing today. So I'm just going to drop this. I'm letting the water run to heat up. It says to have warm water. I'm gonna put my hair up. All right, here we go. So this little tag says, use this side to exfoliate. So we're gonna use the other side. I'm gonna rub gently. Okay. Yeah, it's coming off. How do they do this? Like, if you know the science technology behind these please tell me because i'm so intrigued i'm not gonna like make my own or anything like that how did i get all 
that off. Okay, so we're gonna put it to the real test. So now I'm going to, I'm gonna try to get all the spaces where I would have put makeup, like down my neck, all that, yeah. And then I'm gonna wash my face, but I'm gonna dry it with a white, like hand towel, a white one, and we'll see if it got it all off. This is the one that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. There's nothing on it. Okay. Now I'm gonna wash my face. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna wipe it and then we'll look. So I'm not gonna look either until my face is dry. Okay, we're gonna look together. Are we ready? Okay. So it didn't get everything, but that could have been like user error too. You know what I mean? Like if you didn't rub everywhere, cause this like, I always put makeup like down here and I could have just not rubbed it enough. All right. I'm more than happy with them. They will work better for me. I've been using the uh, Neutrogena, you all know the Neutrogena like makeup removing wipes. I'm just putting some serum on. And I've read so many times, it's getting low, so I'm gonna pour it out. I've read so many times and so many different places that those are really harsh on your skin. So I've been trying to find other things or like alternatives. I've tried like micellar water, which was horrible on my skin. Um, I tried different kind of makeup removing wipes that caused me like weird rashes. I have weird skin and I know this, so I'm, I'm hoping that that'll be the end of it because those were what, like 10 bucks regular price for three of them? So maybe that was the answer. All right, so I'm gonna let this oil sink in and then I'm gonna put on some moisturizer. I'm gonna go watch TV, it's almost five o'clock. Brian is supposed to get off at five. Um, that's not always the case, but anyway. So that's it. I wanted to share with you. I think what I'm gonna do, because it does have two sides, I think I can get away with using it twice, you know, one side, then the other not use the other side. And that way, all three of them will last me a week if I wear makeup every day, which I don't. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Yeah, I am going to Bella Rose tomorrow. So, you know, it's like the worst thing when you wake up in the morning and you have to get gas before you have to go somewhere. So I try to remember and go the day before. So I'm getting gas. I'm headed to Bella Rose to uh, take back the things from the video. I do have a package to return at the post office. It's my, it's my Stitch Fix, uh, the items that I didn't want from my box. And this morning I edited the vlog and it's already at like 40 minutes long. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and end it here. That way I can edit it, wrap it up. It's good to go for Thursday. And then you'll get uh, modeling tomorrow, Brian's birthday on Thursday, like all that fun stuff for the next week's vlog. So hopefully you enjoyed this long one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm excited for the new floors for my room. That's probably my favorite thing from this vlog. I'll like periodically and like randomly just walk into that room and open the door and look at it. And I just love the new setup. Um, and you're seeing it in videos and stuff now. So I'm excited. So yeah, thanks for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.